Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today, in this video, I'm talking about HDR Merge, which is a brand new feature getting added to Luminar Neo. Our good friends over at Skylum Software just announced that today. And this is my first little video about it. To be clear, I do not have the product. I haven't seen the product. I'm going to tell you that which I do know. I'm going to tell you everything that I know and and I'm going to make some guesses. I'm going to talk about what this means, both kind of in the day to day and also in the bigger picture. And I'm going to make some guesses and I have some questions that we're going to find the answers to when we get the product. I don't have it yet. As I said, if you clicked on this video, you saw that uh, header and that surprise face. While that was me with shorter hair, my hair is longer now. Um, I was uh, that was the kind of face I had when I got that email. I was like, what? What are we doing here? Uh, I want to talk about it because it's pretty cool stuff. And yes, that is the logo. So pre-orders start today. If you want to pre-order this, there's a link down below that is an affiliate link, which means they pay me a referral fee if you purchase off my link. Free to you, uh, but it's a free way to provide support to me. I'm going to be making videos about this stuff. And trust me, if you've been here before or been here for a while, you know I like HDR. I did HDR. In fact, I started this channel talking about HDR, specifically Aurora HDR, which is the core HDR product that Skylum has to date. We're going to talk about that as well. Anyway, pre-order starts. So what is it? They are calling it the HDR Merge Extension. Extension, that's a key word. Let's, we're going to come back to that one. The release date, they're announcing it today. They're releasing it on July 28th. So couple weeks. I mean, we're going to be playing with this thing in no time flat. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I should have it early. And trust me, as soon as I'm able to share videos, you know where to go. Just click that subscribe button and I will be here making videos about it. If you don't know what HDR is, this is not the video for you. But in short, it allows you to merge bracketed images to get a better tonal or dynamic range. So you get more detail uh, in the highlights and the shadows by merging these frames. It's a great way to overcome limitations of your camera. And uh, it's something that I did for years. I don't do as much of now. And I'm going to talk about one of the reasons why. But um, that's what it allows you to do. Now, if you're a perpetual license holder, if you bought Luminar Neo, not a subscription, if you bought it outright, paid a one-time fee and bought it and own it, um, that's called a perpetual license. It's a $49 ad, maybe right? If you're a yearly subscription person, if your license is a subscription, which means you're paying a monthly fee to kind of like the Adobe plan, they do offer subscription for Neo. If you're in the subscription license plan, it's included, right? So you're just going to get an update. Um, however, and this is a big deal and I'm excited about this. If you already own Aurora HDR, you can get this extension for free, assuming you have Neo. If you don't have Neo, you'd have to buy it. They're cutting a lot of deals. Again, links down below, but that's great stuff. But as the note at the bottom says, I want to be clear, they're saying that upon release, Aurora HDR will be discontinued. That is their standalone product. So again, that's another glimpse into the future. I'm going to talk about all that here right now because I'm getting into my slide two. I've only got two slides. This is everything I want to talk about. The first two thoughts I want to discuss with you guys, and this is just kind of higher level stuff, which is the first thing is, if you remember back in September when they first announced Luminar Neo, they talked about it being a new engine. And I, I heard the collective groan of the Luminar community saying, not another new engine, but this was a modular engine and they said it's different and they said they had to do it for different reasons to allow new technology to come into Luminar. This is an example of that. This is a modular engine. Do you remember my last slide? I'm sure you do. They called it an extension, right? Um, I don't know how this is integrated. We're going to get to those questions at the bottom of this slide, which I'm allowing you to read all this. We're going to get to that in a minute. I don't know how this is integrated or how it's going to work, but it is a new feature. It's beyond something that they committed to us when they first announced Luminar Neo. The last feature that we just got, portrait background replacement, was the last committed feature and so uh, that, that they announced when they first announced Neo. They never said, we're going to add HDR Merge. So to me, adding this new feature, by the way, so quickly after just making those final updates, is a huge commitment to the platform. One of the big questions, and I think, frankly, complaints from the community was, hey, we had Luminar 4 and it worked well. We went to a new engine for AI. Now you're going to a new engine with Neo. And everybody said, please, for the love of God, stick with that engine for a while. 
I think this shows that that's probably what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't work there. I do talk to these people. By the way, um, I just want to point out how much innovation they've been doing with Luminar Neo, despite the fact that their home country of Ukraine has been attacked by Russia. It's a horrible situation. As far as I know, they're all safe and doing well. Clearly, they're doing well because they're continuing to innovate the product. I just want to point out, wow, what a commitment that these people have made to bring this, uh, this product to market, making updates to it and all that. So anyway, adding HDR Merge, I think, is a huge commitment to the platform, which is awesome. Why does this matter? I think, this is my personal opinion, this is better than a plug-in workflow. We kept asking, when are you going to make Aurora HDR a plug-in to Luminar Neo? Well, now you're not going to have to worry about it because you're going to have that HDR merge capability in Neo. You're not going to need to worry about a plug-in. That's going to save you time. I think that's going to be better. What I don't know is how it works and all the kind of things that are questions down below. But I personally believe that being integrated is a better workflow. One app to rule them all, right? Which leads me to my second point. I think an all-in-one is a better user experience as well. Compare that to Lightroom or Photoshop. Nothing wrong with those products. They're great at what they do. But Lightroom, for example, which is closest to being a competitor to Luminar Neo, doesn't have layers, probably will never get layers because that's in Photoshop and they're gonna want you to go there. So I like the all-in-one experience. I think it's better for us as users. It's more convenient. You don't have to worry about plugins and things like that. You just go and you do what you need to do in one app. I personally love that. Also, this is what I call a glimpse into the future. They're exceeding their originally planned and uh, publicly announced features. I kind of talked about that already, but this is something they didn't say it's coming. They just said it's a new engine which will allow us to do things. They did talk about the modular engine. And in fact, I went and looked and it's my second video I ever made about Neo, where I was pulling Q&A from their website, diving into some of the things that they're, some of the points that they were making. And one of the points was, hey, it's a modular engine that will allow us to add new tech technology in the future. I think this is our first glimpse of that, which to me makes me think, what else are they going to be adding? What about panoramas? What about focus stacking? All these kind of things that people have talked about. I think this is the first glimpse of them continuing to invest in this platform, committing to it, and building it for the future. I'm excited about that. As you know, I love Neo. This is cool stuff. And, you know, I think it shows they're really focused on making Neo a world-class totally complete editor. Now, you might say, hey, library, catalog, whatever you want to call it, not nearly as complete as something like Lightroom. Totally fair point, and it's not. But who's to say they can't just use something else and bolt it on, for lack of a better word, through this extension capability? I don't know. I'm just making things up here, but it's a thought that I had. So what questions do I have? And I sent some of these questions to them already, um, and I'm going to find out answers. They've got an affiliate briefing here uh, in a few days. I will get some questions answered, but what's the workflow like? I have no idea. I don't know if you go grab brackets and you drag them to like a HDR tab. I don't know if you can just click the, you know, grab my, let's say, three exposure bracket and right click. And I, I don't know what it looks like. So which means I don't know how it's integrated. Is it running as a different app that kind of opens up in a separate window? And then when you save it, it drops back in as a combined, you know, dot luminar Neo HDR file? I, I don't know. I'm just not sure how it works. The other question I have is around Mask AI, which I love. Um, I've done videos about it, that one in particular, and you know it's great capability. So I'm thinking, hey, can I go build an HDR and do this stuff, but then use Mask AI on top of that? And maybe I just want the HDR piece in certain areas of the photo, maybe on the man-made stuff like buildings or streets, or maybe I want it just on the mountains in a landscape. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Also, um, obviously they're really good at HDR technology because they have Roar HDR, which I think is the best HDR product in the world. Are the results the same? Are, have they taken somehow that engine, the tone mapping that's built in and stuck it in here? I don't know. We're going to find out. Are there new filters included? No idea. Um, will this, because by definition, auto bracketing, um, and in, when you merge to HDR, it auto aligns the brackets, um, allows you to de-ghost and things like that. 
is this going to give us that capability outside of the HDR merge feature or function? And the reason I ask is because if you add a layer now and you, you want to do a blended exposure, not an HDR merge, but an exposure merge or an exposure blend, they don't automatically align and there's not a way to do that. Is this capability going to be extended somehow? Are they going to do it via layers? I don't know. These are all the questions that I have and probably many more. These are the ones that I wrote down. But that's what I'm thinking about. The bottom line is, it's coming, it's coming soon. I'm super excited about it because one, I said this at the beginning of the video, I haven't done as much HDR in a while. And one of the reasons is it's kind of a drag, man. Not really, but like, you know, going to get my files off of my hard drive and then dragging them into Aurora and then exporting it and saving it as an image and then dropping it back in the folder and then opening Neo and doing my edits. I can do all that together now. That's a huge win and a time saver, but also, I also just like to use HDR on single exposures. You can get really great tonal results by doing so with these single exposures. And I just don't do that very much, again, for workflow purposes. So this is gonna allow me to get some of that kind of pseudo HDR look, but ideally mask it into certain parts of the photo and just apply it where I wanna apply it. In other words, more control over my images, more functionality, more flexibility, and frankly, more creativity. I'm excited. I think this is a glimpse into the future, and I think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. That's my two cents or eight minutes or 10 minutes. I don't know how long this is. Anyway, that's my first kind of thinking around HDR Merge. Check it out at the link below. And trust me, as soon as I get it, I'll be here making demo videos about it because I am fired up about it. Thank you, my friends. You guys take care. I will see you really soon. And until then, my friends, adios.